Hi guys, welcome to Farming Simulator 15 with me, T Belly. I'm just going to do a course play tutorial using the uh, fill and unload shovel type. Uh, what we're going to do is going to fill up the shovel from the silage there. I'm going to put it in the shed behind the hay there, and uh, hopefully it'll just be a loop, so we'll be able to just sit back and watch it do it. So let's crack on. Some things we need to do first, I'll just drive up to it and show you, Cause, because it's got a bit of a slope, what we have to do is we have to set the, set the shovel positions. As you can see there, there's a bit of a slope. So what we need to do, in you have to set these set these up. Basically what we need to do is to set the position of the shovel that we need it to be. So what I want to do is I'm just going to test it and drive it to make sure it clears it. That shouldn't be too bad. There you go, it's sticking a bit there, look, can you see? Which is not ideal. But we'll try and get it so that it's up there anyway when it starts off. Right, so we'll save that. I mean, I might have to tweak it anyway, which is fine. So that's the loading position. Now I have to do the transport position. All I do with that one is just tip it back. Lift it up slightly. That's quite straightforward, so we just click on that one to save that one. The pre unloading, this is when like you're gonna load it in a trailer. Because we're not loading it in a trailer, I don't want to have it fully extended to the top. Uh because we need to get into the to the opening. So what we'll do is best way is if we go down and have a have a check. Last thing you want to do is to be right up there and it won't get in through the door, so We'll do. As we know that's high enough. That's where it's going to be emptied. So we can save that as our pre-loading, pre-unloading position. And our unloading position is going to be, as you would imagine, oh, like that. <laughs> so we just empty it there. Right, so that's all our positions set. So what we'll do now is we'll plan the course. So what we need to do is we need to have three waypoint wait points on this one, and I'll go through them as I, as I do anyway. So we'll start here. Put start position. Start course recording. Do the weight point there, and then what we're going to do, we're going to drive right forward, right through it all. I want a weight point right at the end for when it's full, and we need to put it in reverse mode and reverse it out. Switch off reverse mode there. Drive forward. We'll have another weight point there. So that's where it's going to unload. And we'll put it in reverse again. We'll reverse out. Take off the reverse mode. And drive forward. Get close to position one where we started off. And we shall stop there. Now in theory that should be fine. Everything should work from there. So let's drive the course, see if it works. Fingers crossed. Like I say, we might have to tweak some of the positions, but we'll see. Just go up to here, lower down, look, there we go. Fill up the shovel. Right, 
reverse out There we go. Looking good. That looks good to me guys. I hope this has been of some help. And uh, by all means if you like the video give it a thumbs up. And subscribers are always welcome as you know. And I hope this helps guys. And I will see you all in the next episode. See you later guys.